everybody. Today we'll get to know another type of if clauses. You already know if clauses type 1 and now you'll get to know if clauses type 2. First of all, I show you some examples. So here you can see Kate and Sam. Kate has got a problem. She's always tired. And Sam, he has got a solution for her. If Kate went to bed earlier, she wouldn't be so tired. Tom and Cindy have a big problem. Tom complains, we never go out, out together because you go to the gym every evening. And Cindy answers, I go to the gym every evening because you watch TV every night. So if Cindy didn't go to the gym every evening, they would go out together. You can say another sentence. If Tom didn't watch TV every night, they would go out together. Tina is sad because she's not very fit. Mel has got a solution for her. She says, do more sports then. If Tina did more sports, she would be fit. Sarah is always talking with her neighbor during the lesson. So Mrs. Miller says, Stop talking, Sarah. That's why you don't know the answer. If Sarah stopped talking, she would know the answer. have a look at the structure. Each sentence has got two parts. We usually have the if clause and the main clause. And we can he have either a positive or a negative sentence. If it's a positive sentence, we usually form the if clause with if plus the person, plus a verb in the second form. So the second form is the simple past form. Let's have a look at our example. We have if plus Sarah, that's the person, plus the second form. So in this case, we have the verb stopped. And that's it. Now I'll show you a negative example. We again have if plus the person. Here we have Cindy or we could have Tom. And then for a negative sentence, we need didn't. plus the infinitive form. Here we have go or watch. In the main clause, the second part of our 
a sentence, we use the conditional one. That means that if we have a positive sentence, we usually again have the person and then we'll write would plus the infinitive form. In this case, it's no. It's also possible to form negative sentences. Here I've got an example for you. We only have a look at the second part of the sentence at the main clause. We again have a person plus wouldn't and the infinitive form is in this case be to be. So now the question is when do we use if clauses type 2? We use if clauses type 2 for improbable situations. That means theoretically it's possible that something changes for example, but you don't think so. Let's come back to our example with Tina and Mel. If Tina did more sports, she would be fit. Mel knows exactly that Tina has never done sports before, so it's not it's theoretically possible that Tina does more sports or does sports, but Mel doesn't think so. Also Kate and Sam. Sam is Kate's husband and he knows his wife very well and she never goes to bed early. So theoretically it's possible that she goes to bed earlier, but he doesn't think so. That's when you use if clauses type 2. There are two things you really have to remember. First of all, you never use would in an if clause. And the th second thing is that you use where for all personal forms of to be. So if, for example, you use if I were you, if you were here, or you can say if he or she were rich. Usually you would use was, but for if clauses type 2 you always use were. Mm -hmm.